As surprising as it may seem, there are numerous errors in use of capital letters. It may be that instant messaging and phone texting have had a lot to do with this, but it does seem to be an increasing problem in academic writing. So we'll talk just a bit about the expectations for this class. There always seems to be someone who's interested in writing down the rules of language. For instance, Robert Caudry's Table Alphabetical, yes, it was spelled with two L's then, one of the earliest English dictionaries was published in 1604. It's a far cry from a modern dictionary. The point is, the rules evolve for all aspects of language, and that includes when to use a capital letter as opposed to lower case. Every major discipline has its own way of setting up a manuscript and of citing sources, and many of them even have very detailed rules for punctuation, when to use numerals rather than writing out a number, and all sorts of other details. For those things, this class will use MLA style. Languages also develop unique grammars, the organization of words in a sentence, spelling, punctuation, verb use, and other conventions. For all of those, this class will follow the guidelines for standard American English, and that goes for capitalization of words too. There are many categories of words that are capitalized in American English, and the ones listed are only representative of the lot. Most people who speak American English know that the first word of a sentence is always capitalized. This is also true of days of the week and months of the year, although those whose first language is other than English may need to be extra careful as other languages, such as Spanish, do not capitalize days and months. A category often not considered is trademarks. These are the brand names of various products and their companies like Dell, Pepsi, Pledge, and Colgate, and they should always be capitalized. I'm going to explain in a bit more detail about proper nouns, references to people, and capitalization of words in titles. But if you have any questions about what to capitalize, you should check out the resources at the end of this lecture. An excellent rule of thumb for figuring out whether to capitalize a word in this category is to remember that if you are using something or someone's name, it requires capitalization. But if you are using a word that can refer to lots of different things in the same category, then it won't be capitalized. References to people are another area in which it's common to see capitalization errors. In this case, you can fall back on the proper noun guidelines. If a word is substituting for someone's name, it should be capitalized. But if a word is being used more generically, it should not be capitalized. An interesting distinction needs to be considered in this category too. If one refers to my mother, mother is not capitalized because it is not being used as the person's name even though the reference is to an identifiable individual. The same is true for the other familial relationship names when using them as part of the pronoun phrase. References to self have been included in this category, mostly so it wasn't necessary to create another category. The personal pronoun I should always be capitalized. Some classes follow MLA style documentation guidelines Others follow APA or other styles. A comparison of the MLA and APA citations for the same book shows the major differences in capitalization. MLA style requires that all major words in a title be capitalized. APA style capitalizes only the first word of a title, proper nouns, acronyms, and the first word following a colon in a title. Note. Citation generators frequently err in capitalization of titles. It's essential that they be edited for conformance to style standards.